Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at top 5 modern UI design frameworks. These design frameworks will help us to accelerate the development of our applications. Most of the modern UI development and design frameworks provides us with the basic and the fundamental components and the utilities. Some of them being grids, layouts, responsiveness, components, you name the component and in most of these design frameworks, you already have it. They work based on CSS and JavaScript customization so that we don't have to spend time in reinventing or rebuilding the components ourselves. If you are serious about building a product or application, you need to check out these modern UI design frameworks. And mind you, if you learn any one design framework completely, most of the other design frameworks are also similar to one another, which means if you learn once in any one design framework, chances are that you would also easily adapt to other design frameworks. Let's get started and review these UI design frameworks. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to our friends at Sencha. Sencha has beautiful products that every developer would want to use them in their projects. What I love them, I love the most is the JavaScript grid and the React grid. You can check out more at Sencha.com. And to give you a quick um, briefly about the grid, you can check out their website. This is one of the fastest JavaScript grid, which you can easily integrate in your applications. Also, if you are a React fan, which most of you are, I'm sure, you should check out Sencha React Grid. High performance, ultra light, easily integratable into your existing applications. It will bring down your development time and give that edge in terms of functionality in your applications. So please do check out our friends products at Sencha.com. All right, that being said, if you know of any cool SaaS software, want to get featured on our tutorials, please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Alrighty, so let's get started with the top five modern UI design frameworks. The first and the foremost that comes into your mind would be the same that I've listed, which is Bootstrap Framework. It's one of the world's most favorite uh, CSS and design framework. Easy to learn, easy to implement, easy to get started, and has a bunch of load or loads of components that we can use to enhance the user experience in our applications. Grids, components, utility classes, responsiveness, multi-screen devices resolutions, and much, much more. You can download it for free in your local or use a CDN network to get started. You can check out more at getbootstrap.com. This will, I'm sure all of you or most of you would have heard or used this framework in some or the other way. I'll help tell you the documentation is also really, really powerful and has a great community. Anything you need, you can just get started at the documents. That's number one. Number two is the material design. This is the Google's in-house design library. All of the Google products use material design, especially if you're working with Angular applications, you have Angular material, which comes natively. You also have material design light that you can use or download and get started if you want a lighter version used in different apps. You can learn more about it at material.io and material.angular.io. This is more of specific to Angular, all the components. And if you want to learn about the material design itself, you can learn at material.io. The next in our list is Foundation. This is one of the most promising minimalistic UI framework the best part is that it has an excellent support for responsive layouts and designing. It looks more familiar in terms of if you are coming from bootstrap world or angular world, chances are you would find the similarity in terms of how the components or the layouts are designed. You can, you can, it's free to download and get started with. So you can check it out at get.foundation and you can explore this particular framework in your next project. All right. The next one is semantic UI. Most of the enterprise applications will require the development team to get started to have a common design framework so that 
the code base is uniform. That's where framework like Semantic UI comes into picture. It's excellent, elegant and stable framework. It, it can be used to really design powerful and beautiful websites. Comes with lot of lots and lots of inbuilt components. You can check it out at semanticui.com. Now this, if you get started here and you'll see a bunch of elements that it provides, everything that you need, breadcrumb, collections, views, modules, input forms and much, much more. If you are really serious about building an enterprise looking application, you must check out Semantic UI. The next one is Tailwind CSS. Now this is a utility first CSS framework. The components are ready to use. The coding that, that we write is much more human language, easy to learn, easy to adapt as a team as well. Tailwind also comes with Tailwind UI components, but the, remember this is a paid package. If you want to use the free version, you have to go to tailwindcss.com. This is where you will find all the details, documentation and how to use the Tailwind CSS. But if you are considering a paid package, you can check out the components at Tailwind UI. It comes with ready-made packages for marketing, sales, enterprise, e-commerce and application development. All the things are ready-made, inbuilt. We just have to use it. If you want to cut down the cost and the time and the effort, consider something like upgrading to Tailwind UI. Alright, so that was the top five design frameworks that I have brought to you in this episode. Let me know which one is your favorite or which one have you worked with in the comment section. We all would love to learn from your experience. Thank you so much for joining in today's episode. If you want some particular product to be featured on our tutorials, please let me know in the comment section or write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Please do subscribe, like, share and please do comment on the videos. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.